Johnson. What caused the fire was a scooter being charged in a kitchen. It was a difficult fire to fight for firefighters. It started on a lower floor, but the building behind me there, as you can see from those burnt out windows, it quickly spread from the bottom all the way to the top. I was unable to breathe to see anything. It was completely dark. It was jet black. It was a struggle, a race against fast moving flames shooting through the roof of this building on Park Avenue in the Melrose section of the Bronx. One resident, too emotional to appear on camera, tells us how she escaped. We were unable to go down through the stairs because the smoke was so strong that it was burning our lungs. I had a three year old baby and I just thought that she was going to suffocate because we. It was so bad. This citizen app video shows the fire quickly spreading. It started just before five Wednesday morning in Adama Damasoko's third floor apartment. I started in the kitchen. Everybody was just screaming, oh, it's a fire, it's a fire. He says he and his family were sleeping, looking forward to waking up and attending a Ramadan prayer. Instead, they woke up to this. They were surrounded by flames, trapped inside until they climbed onto a fire escape. It was hard to get out. But everybody's safe, you know. I can tell you it wasn't easy. When you look at the outside of the, the building, where I was at, is unimaginable. It took more than an hour and at least 100 firefighters to get control of the fire and to evacuate residents on all floors of this six story apartment building. There was a heavy smoke condition on all floors above the fire. Our units entered off ladders into an apartment and found uh, three unconscious people and removed them. One of those people, a 91 year old woman. She died at Lincoln Hospital. Neighbors described the elderly woman as a fighter, being cared for by her granddaughter. I just feel very heartbroken for them because I can only imagine how she should be feeling at this moment to lose her grandmother. What caused the fire that shattered so many lives and left dozens of people homeless is still unknown. But we now know what made it more difficult. The FDNY tweeted this, an infinity was illegally parked, blocking a fire hydrant, limiting access to water. So the FDNY updated us to confirm that an electrical scooter being charged is what caused all of this. In the meantime, the Red Cross is helping all of the families displaced tonight, and three people are still in critical condition. For now, we're live in the Melrose section of the Bronx. Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.